We're a sailing channel on YouTube that hasn't been doing an awful lot of sailing lately. We've actually had 51 days so far. 52. 52 days sitting in a marina, totally disabled because of this. These little valve springs broke in the engine and we had to replace them, but we had to get them here. Now they're readily available in the United States, in Europe, all around the world, but not here in the Bahamas. So we've got to get it freighted in and thereby hangs the tale that we're about to tell you. When we came in, we had to get the mechanic to come to us and that took four or five days before he, before he was arrive. able to come to us. Yep. So he looked at the water pump issue, which is what caused by a downstream effect of these to break. He told us what to do with the water pump, which I did water give him a call back when, when he comes back. So we did that and we finally got him to come back on a Sunday morning at eight o'clock and we started the engine and it still made these rattling noises. He said, uh, shut it down. And he said, I want you to take this and this and this all off, all of this off, and I'll be back after church. That was the Sunday before Christmas. And we didn't see him again till the 8th of January. So it was a, yeah, I won't say it was a long church service, but it must have been. Or a lot of sins. <laughs> or a lot of sins. <laughs> I hope my wife cuts that bit out. I probably won't. Um, we had made arrangements for him to come on the, the day he came back from holidays from Trinidad and he didn't arrive and he didn't arrive and he didn't arrive and then we found out that he'd the, gone on to and did some work on another, another boat, boat just down here in the, in the same marina but he didn't come to us and then the staff member here blatantly told us that we hadn't booked him whereas we had been on their case every day to so that was just we don't know why that we don't know why that fabrication was told yeah. now when we realized after the mechanic came back that we needed four of these then we needed to get a set sent so Brian contacted the company that he deals with all the time and I'll, I'll give them a shout out because they did a fabulous job for us Jazz Marine JAS Marine in Fort Lauderdale and so they organized it to go on there with their international shippers it was dispatched with DHL uh, all the cruising permits, the original invoices, customs, all done and dusted. And paid for. And paid for. And it arrived on the 18th of January in customs in the Bahamas. And then uh, on the 19th of January, customs cleared it because all of the shipping fees had been paid, etc., etc. And then it sat. Can't find out exactly why it sat. So they said they'd pop it on a plane. So they popped it on a plane and then we had to go to the airport to pick it up. That's eight miles away and we don't have a car, etc. So the staff here again organized a taxi to pick that up from the airport. What date was this? Bearing in mind it was 20... cleared and paid for and came out of customs on the 19th of January. And it was the 28th that arrived? Yeah. Yeah, 28th so, that arrived. So 28, it st sat and sat and sat and didn't move and we couldn't find the parcel at one stage. No due to arrive at six o'clock. So I went up to the office at half past five and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited until uh, 20 to eight when I thought, no hope now. So uh, I took a photograph of me standing in front of the clock to prove to them there won't be any fabrication, to prove to them that I stayed there that long. Picked up my bag and computer, walked towards the door and in walked the lady with the parcel. Now the story of the mechanic. We've, We've run been... the mechanic several times, but he's mailbox is full yeah you can't leave a message because <laughs> his mailbox is full anyway uh, one of the staff here uh, contacted him and he said that he's out at one of the keys up here and stuck because of the bad weather and as soon as the weather turns good he'll come back and uh, then he'll come to our boat and the weather is now good so yeah you know it's it's pretty good now it's not yeah, the weather's, I mean... And, the, and boats are all leaving out, yeah, of, the, boats are leaving all out of the marina now. The marina was full. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's all leaving. So meanwhile... We recorded 51 knots of breeze in the marina yesterday. Mm. So there's a bit of breeze came through. So meanwhile, we've been doing some neat things by the help of the 
um, people that lovely people that we've met. We've been showing you those, the catching of the fish, etc. But we just want to let you know why we're not doing this putting sailing on our sailing, sailing channel. channel. <laughs> um, so I hope you can understand and bear with us because our footage we're very current in our footage. We didn't have any backstories to be able to bring forward and tell you. So yeah. So we'll, today is what Sunday the thirtieth of January. Yeah, Sunday the thirtieth of January. Let's see when. We get the mechanic here. We, with the 51 knots of breeze that came through yesterday, it's brought some power poles down. So there is no internet or phone uh, here. So we actually can't communicate with the outside world today. So I don't know how you're going to upload your video tonight. to get this little bit of this head meat then you're going to come down this way all right so you put it in you'll keep your knife at about a 45 degree angle don't saw and just pull it down okay so that's how we'll get this to there and that up then what we'll do is you'll chop it off here cut and then <clears throat> you see the lateral line this, right. is the, this is called the lateral line what you end up doing is cutting on the outside of the lateral line because when we cut the other side off, there's going to be the bloodline that's about this wide right. in there that we don't want. And then once you get this side off, then we just cut down here from the belly, right, to about the anus down here, and then come down and around and get that one out the same way. Okay? Those filleting fish and look what me missus is doing hey so that's tuna and wahoo wahoo tuna um yellowfin tuna don't do that i'm just filleting as bad as you <laughs> so thank you to our master class filleter brian you'll be getting a plate of sushi very shortly